Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and Borgay, thank you so much for the wonderful introduction and, frankly, the, the fantastic overview of what was one of the best, if not the best, annual meetings of the World Economic Forum. It is my pleasure to be here. For as long as I can remember, music has been a, an essential part of my life, an essential part of my soul. I grew up in a household where music was played all the time, and even as my life and career took me to far and away places, the right song always brought me back home. This is not an extraordinary story. In fact, the reason I share it is because it is so ordinary. Music has a transformative power, one that we all understand, even if we can't always describe it. Music transcends language, bridges continents, ignites our creative spirit, and inspires us to find the very best in ourselves. And that, to me, is exactly what brings us all to this snowy hamlet far from home. Simply put, music is a catalyst for exactly the kind of impact we came to Davos to create. And I can think of no better embodiment of music's transformative power than the four young artists who you're about to hear who are joining us, Sterling Elliott, Randall Goosby, Hannah White, and Mira Williams. And these four people came to Davos, Davos thanks to the Sphinx organization. It's an international organization whose mission is to transform lives through the power of diversity in the arts. For over 22 years, Aaron Dworkin and his wife, Afa Dworkin, the executive director, director, have developed a program to reach over 10,000 young people annually in their combined programming in education and classical music presentation. They reach over 2 million uh, additional people through live and broadcast performances. They have awarded almost $5 million in scholarships and artist grants, provided a half a million dollars for instruments for young artists, commissioned 18 new composers of color, and supported artists' performance and residence in 13 countries. As members of Sphinx Elite Chamber Orchestra called Sphinx Virtuosi, Hannah, Mira, Randall, and Sterling have played at some of the premier venues, including Carnegie Hall and the Kennedy Center. This afternoon, we have the privilege to experience their immense talent in person, and in collaboration with National Geographic and its starstruck year-long celebration of space, the Virtuosi's music will be accompanied by stunning images of the planet we all share, and frankly, strive to improve for future generations. It's a fitting send-off for our time together in Davos, a final shared moment experiencing the transformative power of the world's one universal language. May it inspire you to imagine, pursue, and realize a new world of possibilities. Ladies and gentlemen, until next year, I present to you the Sphinx Virtuosi. Thank you. 
Thank you. 